All right, so uh, what's your name? My name is Floyd Gump, and I'm a furniture artist. Cool, and uh, how long have you been doing uh, your work, this body of work? I did ceramics for about 20 years, and then got tired of ceramics, and started making furniture, and that was about uh, another 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about the materials that you're using for your work? I use foul materials uh, from either junkyards, dumpsters, salvage uh, shops, uh, friends, friend pickers, mm -hmm. and uh, wherever I can, and uh, use uh, materials that I think are interesting and usually painted colors. Uh huh. So it's an easy way to to make color without having to get out the paintbrush and right. mix colors, which is always tough. And what is it about the patina that attracts you? Um, well, I like the weathered look of the wood and uh, to show a little history in, uh, in each piece. So each piece of wood kind of has its own little story behind mm -hmm. it. And, uh, and uh, there are just a lot of interesting old shapes out there that don't have uh, a use, and I try to find uses for unusual artifacts. Mm -hmm. And that can be wood, metal, and whatever looks good. Sometimes plastic, but usually, yeah, rarely. usually not. Right? Kind of like the rustic, uh, a, a rustic look that. Uh, Makes you think of things past. Uh huh. I know you also have a lot of collections. Uh, are some things driven, driven by your collections, or vice versa? There is the rustic look. But actually, I use a lot of those with my ceramics, and uh, kind of hung up, hung them up. Right. Right. And uh, I saw a lot of furniture pieces back here that are beautiful and have all kinds of interesting little features to them. I see a lot of doors, a lot of interesting little openings. Do you like the, what is it about the openings that you like? I like uh, any unusual th uh, thing that's a rectangle. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh huh. Uh, this is just an old uh, latch mm -hmm. wheel. Uh, old bicycle wheels. Uh, shuffleboard, shuffleboard uh, sh shufflers. Oh, nice. And those are the pucks. Uh, those are the pucks from yeah. the shuffleboard, right? Right. Great. Yeah. And spindles of all kinds, dowels, mm -hmm. broomstick handles. Mm -hmm. Very this, nice. This is a, my version of a Fender guitar. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a lobster buoy here. Now I'm drawn to color and uh, uh, interesting shapes. And, and so uh, how do you sell your work? I sell through a store here in town. Uh, uh, it's a home furnishing store. Mm -hmm. I, I've shown it at art galleries before, but I, I, my work always does better at the, like a home furnishings type situation. So uh, I also sell through a designer showroom in Chicago mm -hmm. uh, and a small shop in uh, Saugatuck, Michigan. But uh, that's it. I stopped doing craft shows. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe one every five years or mm -hmm. so, but uh, I find that uh, doing craft shows was just taking up a lot of my time and mm -hmm. too much of my time and, and expenses, show fees, restaurants, hotels, it's just got to be too expensive right. to do. And, right. and uh, I think the, the secret is to live somewhere where, uh, where people come to, to visit. And uh, this catches the Chicago crowd mm -hmm. out here. A lot, of, a lot of people have their second homes here. And it's the perfect place for me to sell my furniture. Right. So it's kind of location, location, location. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.